God is telling you right now that you could meet the person who completes you emotionally and spiritually, increases your income, and helps you reach your health goals before 2024 even comes around. There will be no escaping any of those eventualities. The finishing touches are being applied to something truly substantial, something that will define the course of your lives going forward. Thanks to this monumental development, you can finally kick back and enjoy life to the fullest. Upon finishing all necessary tasks, you will be able to reap immense wealth, excellent health, and an endless well of cash. Immediate gratification is yours to have with these benefits. It will be handed to you immediately once you have amassed more wealth than you can possibly imagine, and becoming wealthy will be a breeze. You might not even need to try very hard if you're thinking about having that kind of money someday. I have doubts about my relationship with God at times. When it comes to making decisions and navigating life, I am no longer typically optimistic. Whatever the case may be, I can't deny that there are times when I need to know God's dating plan very well. Not everything in my life is equal or fair, and I struggle greatly with this perception. Please explain how this is compatible with my ideas. I'm having trouble seeing it. Upon careful examination of the suspicious signal, one might deduce that its contents are clear and unmistakable. See miracles for yourself by watching this video all the way to the conclusion. When your vacation comes to a close, you will have probably seen or witnessed something incredible that was meant to make you spellbound. It is highly probable that something truly wonderful will come your way this week. This could be anything from a stroke of luck in your romantic or professional life to the discovery of a life-altering fact or even the possibility that you were meant to be with your soulmate. Every one of these three requirements is doable. The possibility exists that any one of these outcomes could materialize. Your long-awaited outcome will materialize at some point if you give it your full attention and focus. When you take actions like these, you will achieve your goals. After extensive training, the time has come to retain the excellent, as anticipated, outcome. Thanks to your steadfast faith and positive approach, this chance has come your way. You can help direct this video by giving it a like and sharing it if you have faith in God. Admit that the cosmos and everything in it are enormous. Rest assured of this. Ensure that you are capable of handling any challenge that may arise. Be mindful of the enormity of the world as you gather yourself together. Dear God, who holds the universe in the palm of his hand and is both powerful and compassionate, I want you to know how much I appreciate everything you have done for me. Let me take this opportunity to virtually thank you for everything you have done for me and for us recently. Our sincere wish is that you will acknowledge our gratitude and politeness. Our group has brought this vision to this organization. We sincerely hope that our gratitude can be conveyed to you. The constant displays of kindness and care you've shown me have made me appreciate everything you've done for me much more. Your thoughtfulness and care have touched my heart in ways I cannot express. Thank you so much for everything you have done for me. I hope this job will allow me to continue enjoying all the benefits of being your care recipient, and I hope I can always express how much I appreciate it. Please let me know how much your kindness and generosity mean to me. No matter my flaws and problems with character, I always come to understand how much you care about me and love me. Your baby, I am nevertheless. Your love for me remains unshaken, no matter what has happened. It has been a burden on my heart to comprehend, but it is humbling to know that you love and forgive me, even though I am unworthy. Thank you for all the love and care you've given me. For that, I will be eternally grateful. I can tell this because of how loyal you are to me. What this does for me is show how much you care about me and how kind you are. Although it's healthy to experience negative emotions in response to planned delays, we shouldn't let those feelings control us. There should be no changes to our plans that have nothing to do with us. Things that take longer than expected are likely signs of God's kindness. So keep that in mind whenever you feel discouraged. Keep this in mind at all times because it is crucial. Remember to leave it closed and don't expect it to open again. Our safety will be ensured 
in the event of an emergency, as the door is designed to remain closed and cannot be opened again. Or maybe that was the whole point, that the door should stay shut forever. Everything should be designed to make you feel comfortable and at ease. Seriously, that makes no sense. People leaving their jobs or relationships is a real possibility, though it's unlikely to happen very often, so it shouldn't be taken seriously. At the core of the matter is the fact that everyone's life path occasionally takes a completely different turn. This foundation might change over time, so keep that in mind as well. If we want to avoid living in grief, it's best to focus on the positive aspects of our situation and the people who have chosen to stay in our lives. There should be no consideration for the fact that a person has died. That is because we have faith in a force bigger than ourselves and know that whatever happens in our lives, good or bad, is not random. The reason we think there's more pressure than there is is because we think there must be. Our love and devotion to God give us hope that this plan will be successful and we know that each step is contributing to the bigger picture. Rest assured, my little one, that my intention is to send you my heartfelt best wishes for the day. You were also given words of encouragement and comfort by God in a recent message. God is the name we've given to this mysterious being. The phrases in question were provided to you. No matter how challenging your current lifestyle may be, you must remember that you must persevere. Amidst adversity, keep going with your lives and work toward your dreams of greatness. That is the advice I have for you. God, who is all-powerful, will always be on your side, helping and blessing you. Knowing that you are not alone should help you reach higher levels after this. There has never been a time when God has told you to stop experiencing. This means the world to me. While I dip my head in prayer, please protect my loved ones. Their holy presence seemed to encircle them like a guard, protecting them from harm. Possible benefits include protecting children from harm and reducing the likelihood of injuries. Your infinite wisdom and limitless love, I believe, have given me the confidence that you will never leave us or let us down. My love for you will never end, and I believe you when you say that you know everything. While I have complete faith in no one else, I humbly request that you assist them from on high so that they may be likely led and encouraged to surpass any obstacles that may stand in their way. The reason I'm asking is that I want them to be able to manage the path they've chosen. In the face of whatever challenges they may face, I pray that the strength and determination they receive from your love and support will enable them to overcome them. For what I have done, I am sorry to the Lord. The people who matter most to me are those you watch over, and I ask that you bless them. Think about what I've asked and get back to me without delay. No matter what, you should never leave their side, and they should always know how much you care about them. I hope that even after we finish praying, their minds and hearts will be open to your words and that their love for you will grow stronger. We bow down and praise the holy name of Jesus as a sign of honor. You have my trust that no matter what happens, your wisdom and love will lead the way. Give me your undivided attention because I need to tell you something very important. May you be accompanied by an ethereal or other supernatural entity. In my opinion, this is entirely possible while you cross. You will be protected, helped, and kept company by this angel. At all times, they may do their utmost to guarantee your safety and welfare. My chosen location for you has been determined by the Almighty, and their one and only goal is to reach it. Have faith in this angel's power and abilities no matter what. They may keep you safe even while you're outside. Meeting new people is high on my list of priorities because they have the ability to enhance my life in many ways. This group of people seems like a great resource and I can't wait to find out more about them in the hopes that they will enrich my life. My only other reservation is that I would prefer to meet with them in person. Those people in my life have the potential to bring me down, so I want to put some distance between us. For this reason, I would like to disperse it widely among us. One of my goals is that this goal will become significantly more manageable 
as I move closer to it, freeing up more time for personal and career growth. I hope this leads to a more satisfying life for me. We are humbly asked to assist you. You are absolutely delightful and first-rate, my love. You have been given a wonderful and remarkable gift. It is evident that you are sincere and caring, and that you want to discover joy and love in your life. Permit me to reach out and assist you in becoming more self-aware and developing your potential. Joining you on this tour makes me feel almost fulfilled. I am eager to be there for you and share in this adventure with you. Some joint effort of ours will, we pray, bring you into the loving embrace of our Heavenly Father. Now that we're here with you, we're filled with gratitude and love. Gratitude and love are all that are currently on our minds. For the gift of your most humble Son, Jesus Christ, we are eternally grateful. We appreciate everything that you've done for us. Information can be gathered by things other than people, according to the public at large. Concerning the space in knowledge, this fact is relevant. You must have the capacity to convey your feelings, regardless of how few individuals may understand or empathize with your situation. It might be severe, and you might feel alone if you're going through it. Also, keep in mind that no matter what anyone says, God is always on your side, so you can rest assured that He simply has your back. In times of need, he is always aware of your struggles. A helping hand or sympathetic ear might be nearby. Along with a wealth of relevant records, he possesses an intense understanding of the subject. No matter what problems come up, he will definitely help me fix them. Being overwhelmed and harassed by the enormity of life's challenges is a common emotion. We must always keep in mind that, no matter how things seem, there is always a chance to discover a hint of kindness and optimism. No matter what, you must always remember this. By sharing this video, you can help spread this phrase. We must look within for the courage and fortitude we seek. We may be able to avoid failure in achieving our future goals if we surrender and seek the Lord's guidance and assistance. Remembering this is of the utmost importance. You may be in for a world full of incredible experiences that make you wonder and be grateful. A miracle can also happen as a result of chance meetings, unexpected events, or even small acts of kindness from strangers. Plus, they'll be the result of some higher power showing up. At the end of the month, there's a good chance you might experience a major life change that will significantly affect your future. This may significantly impact the trajectory of your life going forward. The nature and magnitude of the change you're experiencing are irrelevant to this. Whatever transpired over a long period of time, be it a single major event or a series of smaller ones, makes no difference. No matter how many little changes have occurred in your life or how one major event has shaped your perspective, this event will change the way you see the industry. You may discover that the best way to establish a connection to God is to trust your instincts as you go on your religious journey. While you may initially fail to see the value of this work, you may eventually come to appreciate its importance as you continue on your journey of religious enlightenment. Locating the subtle clues that point you towards God shouldn't require much thought or time. The result could be this way. Extreme feelings of tranquility and joy over a wide spectrum of depressive symptoms are all within the emotional and mental spectrum that these symptoms can evoke. The only way for us to talk to my friend is if you lend me your ears. In the midst of all that, make sure they get all the attention and affection they need. My sincere hope is that this will be done because I feel that great miracles are on the horizon and that we should be optimistic about what the future holds. I would like to say something encouraging to you. My message is meant to encourage you because I have a message for you through my precious baby, your spiritual guide. So, I am confident that soon, there will be signs and miracles. Along this road, you have received words of wisdom and encouragement from the all-knowing, all-powerful God who made the universe. God has spoken to you about His will. Substantiate your feelings and trust your gut, He says. Not only that, but He says you should live your life this way. Be mindful of your emotions and the genuine desires within you, He says. 
recognize your own needs and aspirations. He says that as well. Take a moment to connect with your inner self and carefully consider the guidance it offers before making any major decisions. Because of those reasons, you will be able to steer clear of errors if you follow this procedure. If you follow those steps, you can become more aware of your dreams, their motivations, and the potential impacts of your actions on people around you. Becoming more cognizant of how your actions may affect not only yourself, but also the people around you is a direct result of implementing the aforementioned changes. So long as you follow these steps, you'll be communicating with the one and only being in heaven who made and controls everything, right? So that you too can better recognize the holy creature. This lesson's purpose is to impart similar knowledge to you. You must reawaken the long latent option on your behalf. A long time has passed since this exciting fire was kindled. The request isn't always genuine and it comes with a lot of problems. In order to lead this call to action, you must fully understand it. The time has come for me to tell you, my dear friend, that you might not be taking this journey alone. In order to ensure that you are not traveling alone, I would like to take advantage of this opportunity. I'll take this opportunity to tell you that I am not alone in my desire to see you again and that it is entirely up to you to shake off that long suppressed desire. If you ever find yourself in a bind, I promise that my care and support will be there for you, no matter what. Feel free to contact me whenever you'd like, and I'm always available to talk. Keep in mind that I'm always available to talk, cry, or just hang out with you. Just know that I will always be here for you, no matter what, whether you need someone to listen to you cry or an embrace as you sob. To keep moving forward, despite the many obstacles I've faced, I've enlisted the aid of a heavenly host of beings known as angels, and I wanted you to know about it, because everyone is taking part in this. For their own sake, they must do whatever it takes to ensure my success. Please be informed that I am currently in the process of attempting to resolve all issues that have surfaced since you previously granted me this opportunity, and that this project is now complete. Wow, that's pretty much taken care of now. My famous friends and I will work together to solve those problems. Life can be frustrating and challenging at times, but I am here to help you through it, my dear friend. I can manage this stress, so please put it in its proper place. It is my pleasure to inform you that I have recently completed a fantastic project for you. Breathe deeply, release your worries, and believe at that very moment. In the end, I promise you that everything will work out according to the plan that I've laid out for you. You might have lost some of your firepower regardless. Get that fire started again. You must do it. If you're looking for a method to blow your mind, get ready for something unexpectedly special. Finally, take special care to follow the instructions. You are about to embark on an incredible journey. Prepare to have your worldview flipped upside down by this mind-blowing revelation. I'm ready for the excitement. Our anticipation of its arrival is palpable. Everything about it will be out of this world. I can't help but feel incredibly fortunate to have you here with me as I give my speech. Despite my lack of anticipation, I am overjoyed to see you standing right here. It is my deepest wish that you know how much your assistance has meant to me, and I wanted to take this opportunity to express my gratitude. Its discovery astounds me. You have done a great deal of satisfactory work, and I am really appreciative. There are no words to describe how much I value everything that you have done for me. You have my deepest gratitude for your kindness and generosity. Thank you for all the support and advice you've given me. Your kindness and generosity are truly remarkable. I really do appreciate everything you've done. I'm well aware of my many flaws, but that doesn't mean I'm deserving of your affection and concern. The many problems I'm facing are well known to me. In light of everything you have done for me, I beg you to please like me and guide me in the coming days and weeks. For everything you've done for me, I will be eternally thankful. For everything you've done for me, I want to thank you. I am deeply grateful. Your willingness to impart all of your wisdom to me is impressive, but I still can't tell you how much I appreciate your loving and patient patience with me despite my imperfections. 
Whatever my flaws may be, I am eternally grateful. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Words fail me. Impressive, really, how much you can love and tolerate diverse people. Tell me how well you comprehend and value other people. Amazing and humble people never stop surprising me. Please keep an eye on my friends and family today and give them directions. Clearly, I am pleading for your divine protection and assistance right now with a broken heart. The Almighty hears and answers my prayers. Because of that, I am in the correct place. Your celestial area is where I would like to virtually seek divine guidance and protection. If you want to keep them safe, you should keep an eye on them and constantly ask them to be your friends. Your love and care for them should be obvious at all times, and even in their pain, they should be able to sense your comforting presence. Your boundless love and wisdom fill me with confidence that you will never give in to or reject them. The depth and breadth of your generosity and knowledge are beyond my doubt. Your superior knowledge and unwavering moral principles are the most powerful and pervasive substances in the universe, and I have complete faith in you because of this. Thank you very much. Those around you are always there for those going through tough times. Please let those people know that. Because of how much they rely on you, I humbly implore you to give this a go. Even as I speak of my intentions in your holy presence, I will be as discreet as possible. In addition to the fortitude to overcome any obstacle, people can discover tranquility and solace. Your class is so inspiring. I may have to show my head to convey how much I appreciate and respect you. Dear God, I beseech you to bless the people I hold dear with wisdom and kindness so that they may experience his sanctifying presence in their daily lives. God, I beg you, please grant my request. If I am to grow in my relationship with God, I pray that he will bless those parents. They must feel Jesus' gentle love and wisdom within them, and then they should be able to follow in his musical footsteps in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We are crossing our fingers that this disagreement will be resolved soon. It is our deepest desire that he hears us and sets us free. Please grant our requests. We beg him to do so in our prayers. A person's harshness does not elevate or improve love. An intense and complex emotion, violent or depraved love, can take many forms. Nothing about them has improved your feelings for or love for them. There are many different ways love can manifest itself. The exact form it takes depends on the context. The joy, excitement and satisfaction it seeks come from interacting with people in an authentic, genuine and appropriate way. Right here is where the industry shines. Now it's crystal clear that love isn't just about genuinely caring about other people. It's also about standing up for what you believe in. Truthfully, genuine love outlasts other forms of love, which is why this proclamation carries such weight. Being in love seems to have an indestructible quality, unlike feelings, which can change from one person to another. Nothing changes here. Rather, it's the kind of strong spirit that keeps an eye on, believes in, and clings to the familiar even when bad things happen. The animals of love have undoubtedly paid heed to and studied this particular kind of love. What we're talking about here is powerful electricity, the kind that can bring people together and guide them toward more positive ways of handling each other. Realize that there may be a spiritual force operating within the past to assist you in accomplishing your highest aspirations as you navigate through life's journeys. That is something to think about. Always bear this in mind. It is crucial. That should not be disregarded under any circumstances. This strategy provided it with multiple functions and interpretations beyond the means to learn about and implement these ideas. Always keep in mind that a powerful force is directing your daily habits. Be sure to keep this in mind at all times. Knowing how crucial this is, you must keep it in mind at all times. In light of the fact that this is something that some people look to for guidance as a matter of destiny or the future. It is reasonable to feel a little bewildered or confused at the moment. You have every right to be feeling this way right now. After all, life has a way of throwing us curveballs. They aren't always simple to grasp, 
which makes it harder for us to make sense of our lives. There are events in our lives that defy easy categorization. You shouldn't ever forget that you're not the only one dealing with this challenge. It doesn't matter how much it seems like you're going through it alone. Other people are too. Be mindful that when you have faith in a higher power, they aren't too shocked by what's happening or why it's happening. I hope this helps. Trust me when I say that, no matter how quiet it seems, someone is constantly trying to get your attention. Well, they are. A feeling of relief should wash over you when you realize that the universe's creator is on top of things, even if it doesn't always seem that way. Based on this knowledge and this information, you must take action so that all the details of our existence, no matter how big or small at the moment, may be carefully considered and executed by one intelligent, all-knowing individual. Regardless of whether the impacted component isn't crucial to our daily lives, this skill remains unchanged, regardless of whether it is necessary to our species' existence. Every moment, no matter how bad things become, there's always the same amount of distance between the two of you. That is usually real, no matter what. Even inside the most tough situations, regardless of how you feel, you can continually anticipate him for aid and luxury. You could depend upon him always every so often as he is going about his everyday enterprise, his mind straight to you. This regularly takes location. He also spent a while reflecting at the occasions that transpired and the shared reminiscences from the past. As he is going approximately his normal business, he displays on the exciting events you and him have shared in the past. He always has a very good feeling approximately himself. Whether or not he's at work or strolling errands around the neighborhood, you will be confident that your first-rate interests will constantly be considered and that your rights will always be upheld. You are aware of his dependability. He will usually act to your first-class interest. In the end, he merits your complete trust for no apparent motive because he is incapable of prioritizing the desires of others earlier than his very own. Following a path that you believe in is obviously important to you. You may rest easy knowing that the God of desire is rooting for you through this too. God bless you abundantly as you hold on to your faith in his miraculous plan and may your heart be filled with joy and contentment always. Kindly let me know. This has to be how things are for you. Inviting the Holy Spirit to give you the courage to want and the power to triumph over any barriers keeping you from achieving your goals is your responsibility. May you be able to follow his instructions to the letter. It is my prayer that God may provide you with sight and protect your free spirit. Trust that God's love for you is unending and let that love lead you to a life that is rich and fulfilling. Remember that God loves you no matter what. I am both moved and delighted to be here today to deliver my speech because love is everlasting. Thank you very much. It must have been so hard to rein in those thoughts, and I get that. Because you are a very strong being, you built the arena, and that might be the beginning of its evolution. At this point in time, I would like to thank you for all that you have done. I really appreciate everything that you have done for me. My life has been much improved because of what you have done, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank you. You paid me in cash, and I'm not sure I can handle all the amazing things that have happened to me. But if you agree, then sure. Thus, many people have seen how consistently great you are. We've heard about your generosity and kindness, and I want to thank you even more for everything you've done. I want to express my sincere gratitude for everything you've done for me, and I pray that you'll continue to love and bless me if you'd let me know how much I appreciate it. You never cease to amaze me with the amount of love and tolerance you have for me, no matter what. I have a lot of problems and bad traits, and I should do a lot better. I still struggle with some parts of my identity, but I know that you love me no matter what. It's been a humbling experience. Even though I don't deserve whatever, for me accepting this truth has been incredibly difficult. We had a remarkable day together, and your kindness and compassion will continually be favored. I can always continually be appreciative to you for the affection and interest 
you've got given me at some point of my life. Being around you has usually made me sense comfy and relaxed. I shall be forever appreciative to you. Do it is not unusual to sense lost and on my own when you're in a truly trying and disturbing condition. That being said, it's important to take into account that we can all constantly examine from God, irrespective of wherein we're or how matters are going, said in a different way we have to be privy to, in which to look. Even in difficult instances, the entirety remains the identical. Those warning signs might also appear in sudden places, including the sound of an infant laughing, the feeling of the sun on our paws and skin, or the motion of leaves in those allocations, they'll keep them if we look for them diligently, like the faint rustling of leaves. Even if you have no idea where these symptoms may be hiding, we could discover them if we tried to locate them. It is possible that we may also find these signs in action in such locations. Knowing that we are never really alone, even in those few moments of bliss, will provide us with the tranquility and comfort we seek. To know that we are never really alone is to have the chance to feel the calm and joy that come from that realization. Keep this in mind as we keep an open mind to the world around us and make room in our lives for the religious signs that might be deceitful, waiting to be exposed. To ensure its worldwide exposure, we must also approach it with kindness and an open mind. So that the outside world may find out where we are, let's let our minds and hearts open. From the cues you provide us via your behaviors and activities, we may infer your current thoughts and emotions. The words and signals you provide us via your actions and behaviors when you engage with us are much appreciated. You convey the same message to us through your words and deeds. It is our firm conviction that the goals and aspirations you have set for yourself are valid and true. A bird's eye view of our world and current events reveals that we are living in a period of unprecedented quick and deep change and that this change is impacting every facet of our existence. Presently, there has never been an occurrence comparable to this. In the annals of humankind, such a thing has most certainly never occurred. With the person or thing that was causing you stress and worry removed from your life, you may go on with more ease and assurance, because you'd rather avoid confrontation with the part of yourself that used to be afraid of you. You're experiencing these negative emotions. As a result of learning about all your wonderful news, I was overjoyed. It is very astonishing how much energy is released during prayer. If you keep in mind the present situation, this becomes much more apparent. Living through good times and bad is possible for humans. Whether they're funny or terrible, they're at the base of the valley and on the other side of the mountains. Going through a series of stages that alternate between acts of giving and attempts will provide you with peace in knowing that God is with you and will assist you in all your troubles. God tells us, I know you cannot tell what I'm doing. However, keep praying and sooner or later everything will make sense if the phrases of God are real. We can't understand what God is doing, so he keeps on going. Consequently, no one can deliver eternal joy to everyone but myself. Feel free to contact me at any time if you are experiencing despair, harassment, or are sick of thinking there is no hope for a better future. I am the means by which you will get all the advantages of life. If something happens, you can count on me to be there for you. I will always love you, no matter what. Do not let your anxieties and concerns overwhelm you. God is bigger. Regardless of the challenges you may be facing, stay focused, stay strong, and pray. Regardless of what comes your way, God will be there to watch over you. What makes you interesting and unique is what differentiates you from other individuals. No one's fate dictates that they must conform to societal norms and expectations. Nothing about this even remotely resembles my original concept. I made a special form that would set you apart from everyone else in the room. You may not have survived the hurricane to tell the story, but you came out on top. Even if you may no longer have noticed, my doggedness was the driving force that kept you going. It would be wise not to finish so easily at this point in the days and years to come. Good fortune is on its way to you at this very moment. This stage 
could still have additional potential for improvement. Your existing situation will surely be transformed by something that God has planned for you. Unfortunately, you probably won't be able to put this much money aside for today, but be assured that it will soon be in your bank account. If you agree with the motivation, you can show it by giving the video a like. Put your worries about what it says to rest God. I will be right here with you in the future. Rest assured, I am here to aid you, just like I have in the past. Forever and ever, you are in my heart. God made it clear that people couldn't possibly misunderstand the term. Possibly, a really intriguing enhancement will occur in the next week. Things may finally start to fall into place after a long period of time. Get ready to learn something new and believe without hesitation that God will ensure the completion of first-rate, practical objectives. Though this may not have been the moment we would have chosen, it is opportune for us. The idea is to show kids that natural time isn't as good as what we've come to call God's timing. You should think about how you can disregard their words since they are meaningless and won't affect anything at this instant. It is already known that you have excellent luck. No one else is interested in confirming it. After receiving a signal from God, you must assertively claim what is rightfully yours if you truly believe that whatever God has promised will happen, will happen exactly as He has planned, regardless of whether you want things to manifest or not. Since the universe believes you are deserving of nothing less than the best, it will spare no effort in making sure you get to experience the kinds of success you've always dreamed of. Do not miss this opportunity to make your case. The little things won't make your emotional pain go away. Give up trying to find joy in things you have no control over and quit putting unnecessary pressure on yourself. You will have another opportunity to experience the full range of pleasures that this world has to offer. No matter how much you strive, the only thing that matters is your genuine desire for pleasure, which you will achieve if you really want it. All of these things provide you with happiness and love. Therefore, being fortunate enough to have them is a true blessing. We expect a wonderful new chapter in your life to begin very soon, and it is prepared to begin. Stay calm. This is in keeping with the previous message. Eventually, your every want will be granted, and the benefits you already enjoy will likely become even more substantial as time goes on. To the best of my ability, I can typically be there to lend you a hand, provide sound advice, and communicate with you in some way. I will do all in my power to make sure that you only think of high-quality ideas going forward. A wonderful present is on its way to you, and I believe it is from God. Following your encounter with this individual, you could find that you have a plethora of better currency options. Hard work has paid off. You're now more intuitive, empathetic, obvious, and forthright than ever before. This kind of hurry is not something you desire. You should definitely give yourself some time. Your unwavering determination and tireless labor ensure that things always proceed in the same manner. First and foremost, you must find another person who feels the same way about them as you do. You need to break the habit of undervaluing your supply and start pricing it. Overly critical self-criticism is inappropriate. Do not be negative when you inquire. This is God's message to you. That's quite precise of you. On this planet, no one else compares to you. Love for you seems to last no matter what. The Lord will bring it to pass at the proper moment. God has promised that the moment is right and I have the power to make it happen. Assuming we don't have any responsibility to stop it from occurring, the fact that we aren't responsible for its predominance is a major problem. It might also be seen as a gift, since we aren't interested in doing anything to change the outcome. Try to figure out what's wrong. Assault a building or do any of the reversible actions mentioned below. Considering how far away it is from God's plan, it's more probable that it will happen in the future. This option is reasonable if you think you will never be able to resolve your current problems fulfill your obligations, or achieve your goals. Certainly, it may be the case. Embrace the happiness that comes with knowing you are not on this path alone. God wants you to behave differently 
because he will open the doors of paradise when the time is right. More trust in him, in his identity and his abilities, is something he wants you to have. There must be an end to the conflict. Give yourself a fair reward. You will change your behavior because of this. Everything you've been seeing and experiencing in the universe points to now being the perfect time for you to make a change. Just like when you decide to shift your perspective, there may be unforgettable reports on the street, and it is usually believed that the economy will continue to develop. Weirdly, it's plausible that our emotions and self-descriptions might have a significant impact on the space we occupy. As the possibilities of this happening become more apparent, the more strange it seems. Continual changes to our living conditions could be caused by whatever we say and believe to be real. So long as you believe this treatment is working, I should confess that I have found out just how much has altered. When you're impressed, it's worth it to be amazed and perplexed by the wonderful outcomes that a certain method is delivering. There is never a time in my life when I am sad, exhausted, or suffering. Since those steps really work, I'm glad to report that I've completed them. Finally, I can say that this is the point in my life where I'm most content. Finding the right words to describe the results is challenging. Without a doubt, I'm no longer going through periods of fatigue, depression, or lethargy at work. At some undefined point in the future, I may have completed a task. The results are really fantastic, but it would be impolite to say so at this level. You seem to be the last entity remaining after the death of the Apex figure, which had a profound impact on your life. I was completely responsible for handling all of these tasks on my own, which is something I'd rather not bring up. With the strength Jesus has given us, we have overcome that enemy in response to Jesus' great invitation. A greater authority and strength than the opponents have been bestowed upon Jesus' call. Therefore, at this time, no one's lifestyle is in jeopardy. We might say the adversary has been vanquished as well, but it is more suitable that they praise and glorify Jesus since he is ever present for his people and promises to defend them. You won't forget how much we cared for you since we treated you all with the same tenderness and consideration a parent would give his own children. Make sure this stays in your mind. No matter what happens to you in the future, our talks will stick with you. If you were to think about our period, it would be one of those numbers that you would never ignore. This could be the only thing that stands out to you when you put it all together. That's something you can think about all the time, helping you get the direction and support you need to live a life worthy of God's love and favor was our first priority. Our hope is that we can show you the way to life that justifies God's mercy and love. Whenever we set out to accomplish our objective, this was the initial thought that came to mind. Helping you when you needed it, lifting your spirits when they were low, and motivating you to keep going till you reached your goal were all top priorities for our entire team. For a while, it felt like you were the only one doing it, and we tried our best to be everywhere you needed us. God has extended an invitation to join His magnificent kingdom, and our last goal was to assist you in accepting this invitation. This was within their capabilities when they made use of our resources and knowledge. So that you may share in His blessings, God desires that you mature into a citizen of His nation. As He spoke, His confidence grew apparent, and he quickly glanced over at the individuals across from him. He warned his dear friends not to be afraid because, as he put it, when God's holy electricity is out there, nothing is impossible. Even mere mortals can feel helpless when faced with seemingly impossible tasks. There is no longer any such thing as an impossible dream or an unattainable goal. Everything that was once real is now within our reach. Trusting in God, and making use of the many gifts He bestows upon us is the next step. For as long as the Lord is with us, there is no way we can fail. It is comforting to us. Though we may face challenges and make mistakes along the way, we are confident that the Lord, who is our support system, will keep us from ruining ourselves. The reality of this is unchanging. As long as we keep the Lord at the center of our lives, we can rest assured that He will guide us and provide a solid foundation for our endeavors. This is because 
we know that Jesus is with us always and he will strengthen our faith and give us the strength to face whatever challenges we face. When we read this book, we must remember how important it is to encourage and inspire one another to show each other more love and kindness. Thus, rather than mindlessly going about our daily lives, we should look for ways to inspire and encourage those around us. In contrast to our daily routines, this doesn't necessarily involve repeating the same actions. No matter what some may think, we must keep meeting and helping each other on the chosen street. Otherwise, our joint efforts will come to a halt. Presently, that is our top priority. In doing so, we will likely strengthen our bond and motivate each other to strive for our goals. This turns out to be more important as the day gets closer. I pray that you will subscribe to hear more of God's word and that you will say Amen when you see this. Amen. These days, God is making a proclamation for you. God advises that even if awful things are happening to you, you should not allow them to bring you down or prevent you from dwelling. Things will probably improve in a way you won't comprehend for a while. So keep your positive attitude and keep battling hard. God believes that in the end, it will all be well if you give up right now. God sent this message. Take a look at it. Giving up when things become tough is no longer acceptable. It's always okay to pick yourself up and start going. It is my desire that you acknowledge my unwavering forgiveness according to God. My love for you will last forever and I pledge to always do my best to meet your needs. I will always be on the lookout for what's best for you since I am a major burden on you. Please know that I completely forgive you. He keeps going. To really forgive you, you must know that I am here. You must see this film in its entirety if you want miracles. You could soon be able to receive some data that will put your mind at ease if you are unable to look forward to a case anymore. Everything has been paid for and is ready to be used at this point. Because God promised he would never leave you. You have nothing to worry about as you get prosperous. As an alternative, you should be content with the current state of affairs. All of this is taking place because God promised he would be with you at all times. God promised he would never leave you. Therefore, things are the way they are now. Do not procrastinate any longer. Instead, gather the necessary resources immediately. You may as well not wait around since the items you need will start to show up soon. This company has seen significant transformations during the years it has been operating. It is a true gift that we have several possibilities. Praying daily may help you appreciate and give thanks to God for all the wonderful things in your life. Therefore, it's important to learn to agree with God more and more. Thanks to your prayers, this change will be implemented. Not only was I crucified with Christ, but I had also long ago felt the same anguish that he experienced. My home is not within me. Is he the most compelling cause for me to survive and persevere through everything? There is no purpose for us to continue being. Therefore, we aren't relying on anything other than the inevitable. Consequently, we aren't concerned about our own mortality. Because I have faith in the Son of God, who loves me and offered himself for me, I am able to go on with my life as a physical being. Now is not the time to put undue pressure on yourself or make unrealistic expectations. Do not worry. I am telling you what is happening. Me, I'll charge you. Keep in mind that everything happens at once. When it's time, please don't put yourself in danger by getting ahead of schedule. You have every right to keep living the life you've always imagined because your teenage dreams will soon come true. Please help spread the word by sharing and liking this video if you believe this to be accurate in relation to God. God has chosen you to help many people, and you will. Stop beating yourself up over what's happening and just breathe. Remember that God is real. You may better prepare yourself to handle future challenges by practicing gratitude for what you now have. In the grand scheme of things, I see that things are looking up for you. The universe has placed the possibility of meeting the one person who can fulfill all of your dreams in human relationships squarely into your destiny, and you will be astounded by the outcome. Doing it 
will rank among your most magnificent accomplishments. Even if our enemy is exceptionally bright, God still has good plans. When things don't work out the way we expect, we shouldn't give up hope since God can typically turn things around. God is the only one who can protect you from harm, and no one else may even care about you more than God. If you want Him to solve all your issues, you may agree with Him. Rest assured, I am by your side. You need not be scared. Accept as real your own abilities and know that the problems you've been experiencing recently will vanish, even if it seems like everything is going wrong. Soon, you may have access to new tools that will help you achieve your ambitions. Unexpected opportunities and benefits will be shown to you. The direction you choose will become more apparent when all of these elements are blended together. Stop stressing out about money since you could soon attain a lot of goals. If you want your guardian angel to always look out for your best interests, you can make it happen. Put no pressure on them to pay. You are not showing any weakness by asking me for massive things. That is the message sent to you by a voice from God. In light of all you're going through, my prayer is that the Lord will reward you abundantly beyond your wildest dreams. Nevertheless, I possess the power to grant your every want at this very moment. It is now more important than ever to hold on to our religious ideas if we want to receive this benefit. Despite life's challenges, let us remain true to these principles and not let them go. We may have faith that the strength of God will see us through any difficulty. I can restore everything that you have lost according to what the Lord has spoken. Ways to think about other people, laugh out loud, and feel love again are all within your reach. Keep in mind that I'm planning ahead, and that time might be crucial. Also, keep in mind to give thanks to God, since no matter what challenges you encounter, His plan for your life is always superior. The fact that I trembled the whole time we were talking didn't stop me from trying to get in touch with you. The measures were designed to relieve you of the pressure of relying just on your own intellectual abilities and your knowledge of what was happening, even if I used to be rather afraid of them. I am the one who created you, and when I come back victorious, I will give you a fresh start. This is the standard by which we have been educated to evaluate other people. What will happen in the future is not anything you should be concerned about, since God knows it all. My Lord, when I pray in your name, I am able to relax and feel secure. Because of you, I am safe. All the shouts of delight and appreciation are directed toward you. In spite of everything that isn't going her way, her faith and belief in God remain strong. It all starts with God removing whatever is hurting you, slowing you down, or blocking you from moving forward in any manner, and she behaves as if all her plans have already been fulfilled. He does this by helping you let go of whatever is holding you back from making progress. It seems like you have a good chance of making significant progress towards your goal. Consequently, our network will be blessed abundantly by the Lord. Please, Lord. As I wind down for the night, settle my racing mind and weary body. My mind is always racing with wild ideas and terrifying concerns. I implore you to put this out of your mind and take my words seriously. If you could only quiet my rushing thoughts and put me at ease, I may be able to appreciate it. According to God, you won't have to weep or endure excruciating agony for long if you maintain an optimistic and magnificent outlook. You will soon be able to achieve all you want. There was no coercion that brought you here. You are here because God wants you to succeed. He will reveal to you the path to eternal life. If you ever find yourself in trouble, I can stop it, and you'll be the one to pay for it. So I end it here. Your life's events will be guided by the cosmos, and it will also do everything in its power to place you in the right place at the right moment. As you share your newfound ability to communicate with the Divine, others around you may be overjoyed to see you and treat you with the utmost kindness. Now that you have faith in God, you may see your life from a broader perspective. An extraordinary plan might emerge in your life, and as you see it materialize, it's fitting into place just as you've imagined it. Your problems will remain consistent if you give them to the Lord. 
proper people would never be subjected to real lifestyle storms by the Lord. Getting your coronary heart in order is God's way of urging you to live in His ways. Every time your heart longs for order or when you need someone to depend on, God can be there. Making the establishment of God's kingdom and the practice of His righteousness your primary aspirations will bring about most of these changes via your labor. The reason for this is that extending His country and living in God's holiness are incompatible goals. Our inner selves are always being cared for and restored even when our exterior selves are crumbling. Being able to do this prevents us from feeling lost and powerless. Intentionally, we will never stop preparing for an unfathomable weight of beauty. This strain is the little fleeting pain we're experiencing since our focus is being diverted to an invisible object. We're trying to stay away from being too focused on what we can see by shifting our attention to what we can't. The reason for this is that things we can't see persist forever, but things we can clearly see only exist for a limited duration. Without a doubt, the only God who is still active in the world today is Jesus Christ Lord. On this joyous occasion, we give thanks to you, God, for saving us and forgiving our sins. For all that we have done wrong, we beg your forgiveness. God is speaking to you, and you should listen carefully. God is warning you that he will eventually put a stop to what he started for your life. Since I am your God and am here by your side, the weight of my frame may be worth it if I make you walk on it because I gave you the desire to win. Avoid anxiety and tension at all costs. The Lord will strengthen you and assist you according to the Bible. You may rely on me to support you because my justice is on your side. Be patient with me as I finish writing your story, God says. No matter how bad things go for you right now, my love for you will always be stronger. No amount of recognition could ever compare to the depth of my love for you. You should be honest with him and let him handle any problems you're experiencing, since he wants you to be happy and healthy. By sharing this video, you may help unravel the term. Trust not in your own understanding or discretion, but rather take all things at face value with the Lord and obey his commands. If you remember to respect and appreciate him for whatever you do, he will guide you. There is no need to lose sight of the fact that the Lord your God is ahead of you and will never leave you or abandon you. Therefore, you should always be confident and powerful. Never let despair or dread rule your life, because the Lord, your God, is ahead of you. Never be afraid to step up and take charge. The following 10 months must surpass the first two months of 2024 in every way. According to the Bible, the latter 10 months of that year may be much better than the first two. I can bring you material and spiritual prosperity if you only acknowledge me as genuine. Financially, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, you may experience a great deal of blessing in your life. Due to your extensive experience, you may also get several glowing evaluations and learn numerous up-to-date things. Things are returning to you from the outside world at a rate that is 10 times greater than before. You shouldn't let the criticism of others pull you down. Instead, you should work on uplifting others around you and climbing the ladder of success alongside them. Be cautious with your assertions, since in the end, they will all seem genuine. I hope everyone reading this can see that the worst is nearly behind them and that the world is sending them gifts to improve their lives. Not only do these things include money from the cosmos, but they also include amazing energy and evaluations of music. As you reach the pinnacle, the universe is sending you those things to make your life more complete and joyful. According to God, we should think about this so that we might avoid harm and fully appreciate the beauty all around us. All your desires will come true at the perfect moment if you follow His plan. If you want to do the right things and be with the right people, you have to be in the right place at the right time. Knowing that God is in control of all the good things that happen to you is important because He wants your praise. He will arrange for you to be in the right place at the right moment so that you may do the right thing. God told you to love yourself more by revealing things that exhaust you and might weigh you down.
Giving in to other people's happiness at the expense of your own is not self-love. One way to practice self-love is to say no when you feel the need to. In order to love yourself better, you need to learn to identify. If you pray about everything, right and wrong, and keep the lines of communication open, you may talk to God about almost anything. Praying is effective, and God listens to those who pray. This is the proof you've been looking for, that things are starting to work out the way you want them to, as the Lord prepares to shower you with His gifts. Get ready for a slew of unexpected twists and turns, some of which will be quite famous. Please accept this blessing in order to deal with the rapid passage of time. Think about how you might welcome the gift into your life. Treat yourself well and take pride in the strides you've taken as a result of God's provision. For your purpose in being here, you have come to recognize that this exact second is crucial. If only you could go back in time and be exactly where you needed to be at exactly the right moment, you could have the best experiences ever. You should be filled with joy and anticipation for what lies ahead if you are in harmony with yourself and your purpose. You have the power to make sure that everything will turn out well for you. You may also anticipate many true things that will happen to you. Trust not the ill will that your mind and ego are always concocting. Instead, have faith that the Spirit has something excellent planned for you, and you won't pass up the chance to benefit from something that has been tailor-made for you. Despite the horrible ideas that your mind and pride have conjured up, try to see the bright side by thinking optimistically. Next, the commandments and refraining from utilizing this time to make personal changes in the next year will always have God on your side. You shouldn't be concerned about your opponents anymore, as they may have quit the sport. If you keep watching this video until the conclusion, you could find the answer to your query. All the things meant to hurt you will have healed and transformed into something that will enable you to watch this video from beginning to finish by next year at this time. If you want to reach your objective, this month is the time to prepare for a lot of things. These presentations can aim to include innovations in the field of economics. Everything from rekindled connections to opportunities you never imagined possible. All of these and more might be yours this month. You could be surprised in more ways than one by the amount of money you discover this month. God warns us not to lose interest in good things, so keep at it and don't dwell on the bad things that are occurring. Think about the positive things that may be happening instead. Being kind will get you rewarded. Keep in mind that I care about you and am willing to stay by your side no matter what. Additionally, I will do my best to look on the positive side of things and believe that there is always the possibility that something wonderful is lurking around the corner. I've never promised that your life would be easy or that problems would no longer arise, but I have maintained my word that it would assist you. According to God, you must remember that this world isn't always perfect. I swear, I will always take your perspective into consideration since I really like you. Heaven has prepared a special place for you where you will never again have to deal with the anguish, sorrow, or wounds caused by loss. Stay fearless and determined at all times. You should remember anything crucial that this ebook informs you of. No matter how bad things get, you can always count on God to be by your side. Because God is generally present, even when we can't see Him, this is very important to consider according to the Bible. Feeling lonely and worried every now and again is okay, but it shouldn't be constant. What I'm about to tell you today shouldn't frighten or concern you one bit. Have faith in your courage. More is due to you. Fear not, for the Lord your God is with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. These things might make us feel like we're just going through the motions and not making any progress toward our goals. Yet God wants you to participate in His purpose and plan for your life, and He wants to accomplish it through you. Nevertheless, there is a plan and a purpose, and God intends for every individual to fulfill their role in that plan and purpose. We must put our faith in God and obey His commands. Since God may be the sole recipient of God's love and compassion, we will be able to put them to whatever use we see fit in the future.
regardless of the gravity of our mistakes or the circumstances surrounding them, God is always able to forgive us and provide us with a new beginning. Lord, you are kind and forgiving. You are slow to get angry and love fills the chambers of your righteousness. According to the Bible statement, he will be unable to contain his anger and will judge us without restraint or retribution for our transgressions. He won't behave in a manner that suggests we should be forgiven because of our mistakes. He won't punish us for wrongs we've willingly chosen to commit, and he won't look at us in a way that would make him seem good when we're not good. Because the sky is so much higher than the earth, God has greater grace for people who trouble him. That is the case, and this explains it. Just as there is a certain amount of space between the east and the west, so too has Christ removed our sins from us. God assures us over and over again that he will provide for us, so there's no need to worry about meeting our material needs or worrying about the future. Therefore, you may rest certain that God will meet all your aspirations. The first devotional text in the Bible is an epistle written to the Philippians with the help of the Apostle Paul. What Paul meant was that the wealth of God's glory in Christ Jesus would cover all of your needs. Having a personal connection with God gives you access to the power that comes from that bond. In times when we feel powerless and unable to control the issue, God is typically there to give us the strength and courage to confront it. He will always provide us with the obstacles we must conquer. Those who are still physically capable of fighting may have their energy restored, while those who are physically unable to fight can have their strength increased. Additionally, he may restore power to those who have used it all. In a chaotic and unpredictable setting, it is easy to feel traumatized and engaged. All of these responses are typical responses to the current circumstances. Absolute recognition of God's serenity is impossible for humans. On the other hand, God also gives us an indescribable serenity that no human being can fully comprehend. This peace is known as the peace that comes from God, and the only way to experience it is via a relationship with God. In addition to watching over and directing our every step, God is with us always, even in the pit of despair, when it may seem as if no one else is there to share in our experiences or provide direction. There is a constant presence of God who watches over us and directs our athletic endeavors. God watches over us and shows us the route at all times. When it comes to our way of life, He is the one who has the power. A firm faith that God will not abandon you and your ability to find a way to work through any difficulty may carry you through the darkest hours of your life. Even in the midst of a milieu rife with ambiguity and conflicting signals, the Bible lays out the proper way for each individual to grow. In other words, your toes will go in the direction you want them to go. We will put our trust in God and know that He will fulfill all of His promises to the unmarried, as He has never been accused of doing anything other than what He has promised. Because of this, we may finally accept the promises God has made to us at various points in our lives. We must never lose sight of the reality that God is love, that He is ever-present, that His compassion and grace are limitless, that He will provide for our needs, and that He created us for a specific purpose. Keep in mind that all of those things are really important. You must memorize all of these things, regardless of everything else happening in your life at the moment. Taking on that task is really critical. Let us not fight against the people, the Lord says, and we should not compete with the ones I sent to be on your side. Among the many benefits bestowed upon you by the universe is the opportunity to make one of the most consequential changes of your life. To you I am quite grateful, and I am sending my deepest thanks. Within the following three days, you will get a proposal for a permanent job that pays far more than your current job does. As you embark on this next phase of your journey, which you have been preparing for, your prayers may be granted. Your good fortune will keep rising since the next season of the adventure is about to begin. If you spend too much time thinking about nothing, you will eventually stop playing the inner peace. You need to pray, put your trust in God, 
and let him regulate the situation since God is ultimately in charge. When the time comes, the organization will release everything that is legally yours. Without a doubt, that may be the case. I must pause here to give thanks to God for all the blessings he has showered upon my family and by extension on me right now, so you may amass an unparalleled amount of money. Additionally, I would like to express my gratitude to everyone else in my life who has provided me with the strength to face each day and who has made my life more interesting and meaningful. I want you to know that you can typically rely on me to be by your side, just in case you agree. Yes, God has promised us that we will always remember your wonderful hobbies. You can always rely on my assistance, and I want you to know that I am here to help. You may rely on my assistance, I promise. This is why I will pray for you and offer our blessing. I believe wholeheartedly that God listens. It is highly recommended that you read this again, if not more than once. Satan probably doesn't need to reveal anything worthwhile if there isn't anything valuable already concealed inside you. In the event that you are seeking to generate income, it is not always a good idea to disrupt an unoccupied home that does not possess any worth. Everything that God is doing through you right now is appropriate for this era. This very second would be ideal if done right now. This is indicative of an exceptionally high level of preparedness for an efficient future. Even while God is arranging your own family members in a good manner, they will likely have to overcome some obstacles before they can achieve their goals. From this perspective, I believe it is very wonderful that God is working to bring about a remedy for the current situation. As soon as you pray, everyone closest to you, including your family, will get supernatural protection. We will be protected from harm no matter what, now that God is keeping an eye on them to make sure they are safe. God has graciously given me the ability to follow your commands to the letter, and I implore you to help me discover the peace that comes from being in your presence. Heavenly Father, I want to express my gratitude for listening to my prayer and providing the answer. I also want to express my gratitude for helping me find the serenity that comes from being in your presence and following your instructions. In the name of Jesus Christ, I give thanks to you, Lord, that you have helped me to have a more peaceful mindset so that I may also deal with you rather than how this issue seems. May it be so. In response to Jesus Christ's invitation, I give my prayer. This is something I can see for myself, and I hope and pray that it's true. You are all that my soul really needs. Therefore, I can rest well knowing that I am free to follow your will and your purpose for my life. Please accept my deepest gratitude for illuminating for me the way forward that will most effectively achieve my goals. You are about to be showered with more financial wealth than you could have ever dreamed of by the cosmos. You will get this gift in the form of immense riches if your expressions of appreciation increase. The Lord has already said that something similar may happen soon. Every day, I want to fulfill your dreams by giving you an unforgettable experience that I would love to share with you on this special occasion. I may have to pull a fast one on you. If I could, I'd give someone else the chance to grasp these numbers. My prayers will always go out to you, and I hope that many wonderful things come your way in the years to come. Every day, I will keep you in my prayers. You have nothing to worry about regarding the water scarcity that you have been facing for the last few months. We are happy to inform you of this wonderful development that has occurred according to God's will. Lots of benefits, healings, major changes, and new possibilities are likely in store for you in your not-so-distant future. Given the somewhat high likelihood of such occurrences, it's reasonable to assume that you may experience each of them. We are able to transmit this request to you at this very moment, since it has been approved mainly on the basis that it would benefit you the most. It is our pleasure to comply with your request, if doing so would maximize your profit. I'm fully aware of the pain you are experiencing at this very moment, the Almighty adds. Make an effort to resist giving up. While you're in a position where you feel you have no other option, I want you to rely on me. I've been aware that you could be considering quitting. 
Since I'm the most straightforward person who knows what needs doing, you may think of me as a potential mentor. The favor I have bestowed upon you is the only reason you are deserving of this wonderful situation. The blessing I would need to give you is something I would want to provide for you. Perhaps God wants to talk to you right now, and you should probably start by admitting that you're very into a lot of different things in your head right now. It's a handy method to remember that I am cognizant of every single detail, and I am also cognizant of the quantity of remarkable statistical information that my brain is now digesting in real time. I adore Jesus. Taking it at face value makes you feel like you're carrying the whole world on your shoulders and gives a great deal of thought to many aspects of your lives, including your loved ones, your career, your money, and your health. It is likely to be difficult to concentrate on getting ready for the day and to rise and conquer the obstacles that await you. Put all your worries in this box and put them aside if you feel like no one is there when you wake up in the morning. I will keep an eye on them. Because I could be keeping a close eye on them, they will be safe. Remember that you aren't alone on this vast and vital planet. There are plenty of people willing to provide you with the resources you need to overcome this challenging period in your life and emerge stronger than before. Praying for your speedy recovery is within my power. Everything else will be taken care of by me if you just hand it to me in this way. Despite the fact that I'm ultimately accountable for everything, it is my responsibility to ensure that the shipment goes well. Permit me to lay out a plan for you to follow as you watch. I give you all the heavenly blessings that have ever been given to a person and you may do with them what you like. There is absolutely no need for this to raise your expectations. I promise that I will always do my best to adhere to your excellent hobbies and meet the expectations you have placed on me. We have realized that, as the Lord said, I cannot promise you a life without trouble. You are an essential part of my day. No matter what challenges we face in the near future, I assure you, that I will be by your side for the whole surgical procedure. I will be by your side during the duration of the treatment, and when it concludes, you will have the greatest degree of success in taking advantage of the possibilities that are meant to come your way in your destiny. We anticipate that the remaining balance will be paid in full in the future, and we also assume that the current arrangement of your financial assets will change in the not-too-distant future if you are prepared to understand and use this blessing for your life. The greatest possible benefits are within your reach. You may be confident that the Lord has a wonderful plan for the improvement of your lives in the future, so that your actions are focused on what will help you the most in your destiny, He will give you advice. You may find comfort in knowing that God isn't surprised by your position, even if you can't comprehend how this could be. Perhaps this understanding could also provide you with some comfort and you should feel a sense of relief. In God's view, what you are experiencing is not new. In fact, it is not anything that has ever happened to Him. It's difficult for me to put into words how much I appreciate everything that you've done for me. Oh my goodness, I am at a loss for words. The amount of gratitude I feel for what you have done for me is beyond my ability to express in words. At times, I lack the self-assurance to ask for help, thinking that you are becoming impatient and uninterested in my progress toward mastery. This is why I struggle to determine when it is necessary to ask for your help. That is to say, there are scenarios in which I do not personally believe it would be suitable to request help. It would mean a lot to me if you could identify the situation as it is. Having an attitude of gratitude allows us to recognize and be grateful to God for all the blessings He has showered upon us. Because of this, we may fully appreciate everything that life has bestowed upon us and express thanks to God. God has showered us with many benefits, and it will be much simpler to comprehend them if we consistently express thankfulness for what we have. When we focus on the positive elements of our lives, we may appreciate them more fully and experience more delight. That is exactly what we can do when we adopt an attitude of thankfulness. Gratefulness meditation has the potential to increase mood, 
which is one of its many important benefits. The advantages are many because those who have God's skills may have great health, a dedicated family life, a satisfying career, lasting friendships, and much more. These benefits are exact, just as the individuals who receive God's favor are people from all walks of life and all corners of the globe. Yet in order to qualify for these benefits, one must meet certain standards. Because our lives' blessings are also distinct, we shouldn't compare them to those of other people, as such blessings may be just as unique to each character. Because each individual has been presented with a distinct set of opportunities throughout their professional careers, it is significantly more difficult to compare the advantages we have to those that other people have. God gives us power, among other things, so that we may exchange our lives and get closer to Him. Immediate blessings from God's things have the potential to change our lives and our relationship with Him. We may expect this to significantly impact both our personal and professional lives. In addition to strengthening our ability to face the difficult times ahead, it will also help us develop wisdom, compassion, and faith. When we are grateful for what we have and generous with what we have, we not only take a chance, but we also have the power to drastically change the industry and other people's lives. The good news is that we may freely distribute the blessings that God has bestowed upon us. No longer is God allowing us to reap the blessings of His grace at the expense of those closest to us. He has other plans. We can ensure that other people get those advantages, and if we succeed, our actions will have a positive impact on the whole world. By choosing to love one another and provide for those in need, we may be conduits through which God's benefits are distributed to those in our tight-knit community. But this can only come to fruition if we choose to assist those who are struggling. We can't even consider this chance until we commit to alleviating the misery of others. God's charity for us is unending and unconditional. To rephrase, it is now dependent on His identity rather than our actions or achievements. Our actions and identities will have no bearing on the outcome. Nothing we've done or who we are will help inspire the final product anymore. Regardless of our background, sexual orientation, or where we were born, God's love for us remains unaltered. The truth is, we're in that jam because as far as I can tell, God's love, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord, can't be permanently removed from us. I am making this declaration because it is possible that no amount of introduction, including but not limited to angels, devils, the present, destiny, height, intensity, or anything else, could ever reach this point. Given that God is always loving and a blessing to us, even in the middle of uncertainty and unpredictability, we may also agree with God's faithfulness and compassion, especially when confronted with the prospect of unknown futures. Furthermore, we may have faith that God will keep His word and fulfill His promises if He makes them. We must be steadfast in our aim. Another possible reading of this verse is that we are to be steadfast in our desire, since He who promised is true. God is always willing to pardon our transgressions and provide us with new opportunities for growth. All He does is keep an eye out, and it is easy to forgive. That is true irrespective of our accomplishments or whereabouts. What matters to them is not the kinds of things we have done or the places we have been. It is unimportant. No matter how diverse the places we visited or the things we did, we are all equally unique. It makes no difference how many different kinds of activities we've done in the places we've been. No one should boast about their salvation according to the Bible, as it is a much greater gift from God than anything a person has accomplished on their own. The truth that God has offered salvation to us as a gift explains why everyone has been saved by grace via religion. Since God is our issuer, we should not be afraid about our future or our ability to pay our payments. He has these things under control so we may relax and enjoy life. My God will grant your every want according to the riches of His glory as it is in Christ Jesus. That statement brings a sense of relief. To gain wisdom, direction, and a sense of purpose in life, the Bible is our most reliable and trustworthy source. We should be able to get these things if we study them 
and concentrate on God's word. Even when it seems like we have no say in the matter, God gives us the faith and perseverance to overcome every obstacle that comes our way. I can't switch roles. In order to grant you one wish and fulfill one of your desires, I am going to gift you something you have been seeking for an extremely long time. It has come to my attention that you are hoping for this. I may be the only one to carry it out, but you will get access to it as soon as possible. You will also find God's word to you in this message. God is trying to tell you something through it, and that something is that He will reveal His plan to you. Be sure you're ready to learn the tricks used to perform miracles. Whenever the Lord goes out of His way to give you a second opportunity, it's because He wants to show you possibilities you couldn't have imagined before and give you abilities you never knew you had. May that come to pass, really, amen. Consider it done. Get other messages from God by subscribing. Amen.